Peace and blessings, everybody. Welcome back to another practice. Today is going to be another uh, kind of quick practice that you can fit into your day, whether it's part of your morning routine or you just squeeze in when you have time for a little yoga snack. Today's practice is going to be in the style of Katona Yoga, which is a form of Hatha Yoga. And we'll get started with a little breathing practice to stoke the fire a little bit and to build our energy. So go ahead and come into a seated position. If you have a block, it's nice to sit on a block, but I like to film these videos without props sometimes because I know that not all of you have any props at home. So go ahead and find your seat, lift the arms overhead, create a V with a V shape with the arms, and form the hands into cups, cups that could catch water if water were to fall from the sky. And take an inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, keep lifting for your, from your chest, inhale, exhale, kapalabhati, breath of fire, inhale to a comfortable amount, sharp exhales through the nose. Keep going, we have about 20 more. Inhale. Hook the thumbs one in front of the other. Take another three sips in. Three more sips in. One more sip through the nose. Tuck the chin down. Feel a line of energy from your base of the spine all the way up through the crown of the head. And then pop the cork. <sighs> Let the air flow out as the arms come down. Whew. Maybe it feels like there's a little bit more room to breathe now, like the windows are open. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to practice. Go ahead and come into a table position. As you get into your table position, take the left arm through a big backstroke rotation so that the left fingertips face back and we're open through the whole left arm. Begin to shift your weight around a little bit. Feel some space, feel the wrist open. The wrist is the neck of the arm. And then go ahead and release this by taking a big front stroke. And then switch sides. Right arm takes a big back stroke to open. Fingertips face backward. And then shift the weight around. Open up some new space in your right wrist. Take a big front stroke when you're ready to release that. And then crawl back into a seated position with the toes tucked. Try to get the toes very tucked, including the pinky toes. Interlace the fingertips in front of your chest, inhale. Exhale, flip and push the palms, tuck the tailbone, round the spine. Inhale, arms up, press your butt back behind you, lift the chest, back bend. Exhale, push forward. <sighs> inhale, reach up like you're creating a big semi-circle with the hands. Exhale, push forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, push forward. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, push forward. Inhale, lift up. Pause here. Inhale again. Three sips through the mouth. Three more sips through the mouth. One more sip through the nose. Tuck the chin. Line of energy from tailbone extending up through the top of the head. Take another moment. And then pop the cork. Ha! Ah, breath releases. Let it go. Uh, bring the hands back down to the mat. Flip both palms again, one then the other. Fingertips face back toward the wrists. Prepare for flip-handed cat-cow. On your inhale, pull the heart through. On the exhale, press away and round. Inhale, pull the heart through. Exhale, press away and round. Go a few more times. And notice, of course, the movements might not be as big in the spine as when your hands are normal. It's just because there's another element to deal with. But when we open the shoulders and open the wrists, we're opening uh, space for the lungs to have more volume to expand. 
Go ahead and sit back if you wanna shake out the wrists a little bit or just roll them out a little bit, especially if you're new to that kind of wrist work, and feel free. And then go ahead and come into downward facing dog. From down dog, shift into a plank just to measure yourself. So come into a plank and lengthen out your stance if you need to. And then from this long position, now find your downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, let's start to move with our breath. So on the inhale, think hips toward heels, look slightly forward, bend the knees. And then exhale, scoop the hips up and back as you drive the heels back in space. Inhale, hips toward heels, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, drive the heels back in space, hips to the sky. Inhale, hips get lower, look forward. Exhale, hips get higher, look between your legs. So keep shifting forward and back. Let it start in the ankles and then travel up the legs. And we'll notice that the hips and the head are on a spit with each other. So whenever the hips move, the head moves. Whenever the head moves, the hips move. And they're kind of finding that relationship with each other, recognizing that we're spherical beings. None of our body parts exist in an isolated vacuum within themselves. Our body exists as a uniform whole, right? Okay, and go ahead and take a deep bend into the knees, inhale, and then straighten the legs to plank pose on the exhale. And then bend the knees, hips back on the inhale, down dog on the exhale. Inhale, bend the knees like a spring, plank pose on the exhale. Inhale, bend the knees like a spring, down dog on the exhale. Keep it going. Inhale, bend the knees like a spring, plank pose on the exhale. Inhale, bend the knees like a spring, dog pose on the exhale. Last one, inhale, bend the knees like a spring, Plank pose on the exhale. Inhale, bend the knees on it like a spring. Dog pose on the exhale. And then inhale, bend the knees like a spring. Lunge the right foot up, top of the mat. Drop the left knee down. From here, hook the thumbs out in front of you. And then back bend your way up into a lunge. You can keep the toes tucked if you prefer to flatten the top of the left foot down behind you. That's totally cool as well. Sometimes it's a little lighter on my kneecap when I do so. And then bring the fingertips to interlace. Bring palms behind your head and then throw your elbows up toward the sky. Let your head get a little bit heavier into the palms like a ball fitting into a mitt. Really try to point the toes behind you if the top of the foot is flattened. And take an inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Bring the hands back down to the ground. It's like the right knee could fit into the armpit here. And then tuck the toes under behind you. Pull the hips back into this version of pyramid pose, but try to keep this connection between the upper body and lower body. And you'll notice when you have that connection, you're so naturally strong that you could even float the hands if you want to. You could reach the arms back, you could hug your right leg. You're kind of free, <laughs> but I think it's nice to still have the hands on the ground. I like to stay on fingertips, so I'm not pushing hands into the ground. They're just there as a boundary. I'm just making contact with the floor. Right knee is staying in right armpit if you can, so that you can make contact with yourself. So we're still pulling the hips back, finding a stretch, lengthening through the body. Inhale. Exhale. Look forward and step forward and take a hang at the top of the mat. So shift the weight forward toward the toes. Grab opposite elbows. Bend the knees. Again, think knees toward armpits and then maybe you sway around a little bit. We always wanna bring the weight forward toward the toes in a hang because when we're in the heels, it's like we're on the brakes. We're shifting the weight back. The hips are behind the heels. When the, the weight is in the toes, we're shifting the weight forward. We're on the gas. We're ready to go. <sighs> From this hang position, slowly start to lift up and keep the belly in contact with the thighs. You can reach the arms forward. You can keep the elbows there, but just kind of keep this contact. And then come all the way into a little squat and then all the way into a fold, and then into a squat, into a fold, into a squat, into a fold. And keep going back and forth a few times, keeping the contact of upper body to lower body, because that contact gives you context. 
and then stop in the halfway point. Your butt is sticking back, your heart is long. Find the energy, bounce a little bit, and then stand up all the way. Back bend, engage the glutes, push the hips forward, inhale. Relax the arms down on your exhale. Wow, feel the energy we've built into practice in just a few moments. <sighs> Getting the energy flowing. Inhale, reach arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. From your forward fold, plant the hands on the ground, step back to plank pose. And then from plank, measure up, find your downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, go ahead and sweep your right hand by your right hip, so it's a one-legged dog. And just feel your balance. And then switch in between, bend your knees a lot, and then sweep your left arm back. <laughs> Lose balance maybe, embrace it, be okay with it. And then bring your left hand down to the mat. And then let's try something. So on the inhale, bend the knees like a spring, hips toward heels. On the exhale, swing your right leg back, or excuse me, right arm back. And then inhale, return, bend the knees. And then exhale, swing the left or left arm back. Inhale, return, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, swing right arm back, look in between your legs. And then inhale, return. Exhale, swing left arm back. Inhale, return, bend the knees. Exhale, swing right arm back, look between your, hip, your feet. Inhale, return, bend your knees. Exhale, swing left arm back. A couple more, inhale, return, bend the knees. Exhale, swing right arm back, straighten the legs. Inhale, return the right hand, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, swing left arm back as you straighten, then drive the heels back. Inhale, come back through center, last one. Exhale, drive the right arm back. Inhale, come back through center, bend the knees. Exhale, drive the left arm back. Inhale, come back through center, bend the knees. Exhale, left foot lunges to the top of the mat. Drop the right knee down. Keep upper body connected to lower body. Hook the thumbs, rise up into a lunge. Option to interlace uh, fingertips, place palms behind the head. Once again, the ball fits into the mitt. Lean the head into the palms. Throw your elbows up to the sky. Triceps facing forward. Take a few breaths here into the lunge. Bring your hands down to the mat, fingertips to the mat. Maybe your left knee can fit into your armpit. Find lots of length here and then tuck the toes behind you. Pull the hips back for this version of pyramid pose. Pull the hips back until they stop. You might not straighten your left leg, because for most of us, if we straighten the left leg, we stop making contact upper body to lower body. We're really looking to maintain this contact. Again, you might notice you're strong. You have so much natural strength that you can just kind of float the hands and you're here. And then from here, start to lean forward and step forward into your fold. Bend into both knees, rise up all the way to standing, inhale. Exhale right back into the fold, bend the knees. Place the hands down, step back to plank pose, measure up, and then back to dog. Once you get to your dog pose, we're driving the hips back. Let's continue to build off what we did before. So inhale, bend into the knees, look forward. Exhale, sweep the right arm back in space. Inhale, bend into the knees, right hand returns. Exhale, straighten legs, sweep left hand back in space. And then we'll add on inhale, left hand down. This time, instead of sweeping up by our side, you're gonna sweep across you into a twist. Think right hand reaches toward left ankle. And then exhale, return. Inhale, twist other way. Left hand reaches kind of toward or even you try to reach past the right ankle. And then inhale, return, bend the knees. Exhale, as you straighten the legs, right hand reaches toward or past left heel. And then inhale, return. Exhale, left arm twists. Inhale, return. 
Exhale, right arm twists. Inhale, return. Exhale, left arm twists. Inhale, return. Exhale, right arm twists. Last one, inhale, return. Exhale, left arm twists. Inhale, return. Exhale, right arm twist. This time, connect hand to heel. And then what can be nice is to bend your right knee so that your right knee fits into your armpit. And then you can drive your left heel back, deepening the sensation. Keep pushing through your left hand for three, two, one, release. And last time, switch sides. Left hand twists and reach all the way to the right heel. Bend left knee, fit left knee into armpit. Drive the right heel back in space. Find the nice deep twist. And then release and return. From here, go ahead and lunge the right foot forward. Drop the knee down, hook the thumbs, rise into your lunge. Do whatever you want with the arms. Maybe you grab opposite elbows. Settle down for a moment, get off the hands. And then bring the hands down. Pull the hips back, pyramid pose. Keep making contact. Right knee, right armpit. Step to the top of the mat. And then this time, bend into your knees. And then hook the right arm underneath the left for Garudasana eagle arms. And then back bend your way to standing. So scoop it up. Rise up and then lift the arms. You're here for five, four, three, two. Forward fold, stick the butt back. Lengthen through the spine, forward fold. Place the hands on the ground, step back to plank pose, measure up, and then press back, downward facing dog. All right, let's try something new this time. So from downward facing dog, we'll shift and ripple the heart forward into upward facing dog with the toes tucked. So don't let the hips drop all the way, right? Imagine there was like a couple yoga blocks underneath the hips so that you couldn't sink down all the way. We're kind of more so lifting up and then bend the knees Press back, down dog. Let's do that three more times. Inhale, forward to upward facing dog. Keep so strong through the legs, driving the heels back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, up dog with the toes tucked. Exhale, down dog. Last one. Inhale, up dog with the toes tucked. Exhale, down dog. Bend into the knees and lunge your left foot to the top of the mat. Hook one thumb in front of the other and rise up into your lunge. Do whatever you want with the arms. I'm grabbing my opposite elbows because it just feels nice. And it brings my heart forward. Bring fingertips down. Maybe you fit left knee into left armpit, make contact and then pull the hips back Fold into this version of Pyramid Pose. Lean forward, step forward into your fold. Eagle bind left arm under right, Garudasana with the arms, and then bend the knees and scoop up, rise all the way up to standing and then stay there for five. Four, three, two. On one, stick the butt back, bend the knees, and fold your way back down. Place your hands on the ground, step back to plank pose. Measure, and then find down dog. All right, so now let's try something. This is like what we've been building to. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, sweep right arm back by your hip. Inhale, bend the knees, and bring right hand to cradle the back of your skull, and then exhale, twist. Inhale, right hand lands, crouch. Exhale, sweep left arm back. Inhale, crouch, bend, bring left hand to back of head. Exhale, twist. Inhale, crouch. 
Exhale, right arm sweeps back. Inhale, crouch right hand to back of head. Exhale, twist. Inhale, return, crouch. Exhale, sweep left arm back. Inhale, crouch left hand behind the head. Exhale, spin, twist. Inhale, return, last one. Exhale, right arm sweeps back. Inhale, right hand cradles the head. Exhale, twist. Inhale, return, bend the knees. Exhale, sweep left arm back. Inhale, bend the knees, left hand to back of head. Exhale, twist. Inhale, return through center. Exhale, drop the knees. Sit back to your heels. Shake it out, grab a sip of water, whatever you need. Find Balasana, variation of child's pose. Arms back, relax. From here, we'll start to rise into camel pose. So we come all the way forward. We squeeze the glutes, push the hips forward, reach the arms back, and maybe you reach to camel pose, or maybe you just reach to the space that goes toward camel pose. Or maybe you connect one hand and sweep the other hand. And then go ahead and close it off back into the seed. And then inhale, rise up, camel pose, back bend. Maybe you connect one hand and find an opening. Exhale, seed. So I'm gonna go back and forth right to left here. So I'm gonna do inhale, and open, camel pose with the right hand to the right heel. And then I'm gonna close into my seed. Then I'm gonna inhale, camel pose with the left hand to the left heel. Exhale, close into the seed. Then I'm gonna inhale, like I'm going to camel pose, but I'm not quite gonna get there. And then I'll exhale to my seed. And then this time, I'm gonna inhale up. I'm gonna go all the way to camel pose. And I'm gonna stay for a few breaths. Slowly release, either return to your seat or feel free to just return to a seated position. Take a moment to soften your own energy. We've been opening the windows in this class, so now is where you get to kind of let the air travel through. We've been twisting, we've been back bending. We've been folding. Hmm. Let's end with some breath. All right. So once again, sit in a way that's comfortable. Uh, try to sit, uh, if you can, with your hips above your knees. So maybe you sit on a block or two yoga blocks. Reach the arms overhead. V for victory. Make cups with the hands. Feel the energy rising already. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale a comfortable amount. Kabbalabhati, 50 rounds, sharp exhales. Halfway there. Last five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, hook the thumbs one in front of the other, all the way up. Three sips through the mouth. Three more sips through the mouth. Switch the hook on the thumbs. One more sip through the nose. Tuck the chin, plug yourself in. Feel the energy rising to the space right above the crown of the head. And then exhale, make a sound. Ah. 
Thank you for joining me for this uh, quick but energetic practice. If you like practicing the Katona Yoga style, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to make more classes. Currently in my personal practice, I'm doing a lot of Katona Yoga. In my personal studies, I'm studying a lot of Katona Yoga. So if y'all want to see more of uh, this interesting style of practice here on Daily Sadhana, I'd be more than happy to um, offer that to you. Anyways, have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining. I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, peace.